So today we're carrying on our theme of back-friendly golf. According to the International Journal of Golf Science, your muscle strength decreases by 10% each decade after the age of 50. So what we're going to do is discover how we compensate for that. <laughs> so come, <laughs> coming up today, firstly we're going to tell you what we're doing on the floor. Secondly, as usual, he's going to demonstrate. Today we're looking at the difference between graphite and steel shaft. Very interesting stuff going up. And then we're going to find out who wins this stupid challenge. <laughs> So what we're going to do is a comparison between steel shafts and graphite shafts. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really interesting what's going to happen. Uh, just before I hit some shots, I've got a steel shaft and a graphite shaft here that I'm just going to hand to Joe because you've not really felt the difference between the two. So that's a steel shaft. Okay, yeah, right, and, feels like. Yeah, and that's your graphite Whoa. shaft. Really? Yeah, so oh. the steel shaft is 100 grams okay. and uh, the graphite one is only 50 grams. But what we want to do is demonstrate the benefit to you in your golf swing and how it can help uh, alleviate some back oh, yeah, issues. I mean, that just feels like a light as a feather. Yeah, it's really different, isn't it? Yeah. So what I've got here, I've got a steel shaft uh, in this. It's actually a custom fit uh, golf club, so I can put a different shaft in the same head. And let me just hit a shot. Now, I'm not used to hitting steel shafts anymore. I moved to graphite about seven years ago. Uh, this is a 7 iron that I've just hit, and that carried 151 yards. It went 161 yards, but I have to say, the weight of it definitely felt like it changed my golf swing. It felt a lot more effort. Yeah. I think I've read so much research um, on the internet about people, you know, talking about the difference between steel and graphite. Yeah. And... Um, and loads of people have gone through graphite because it makes such a difference to the game. Yeah, I mean, the, the benefits of it, number one, is graphite is lighter. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it, uh, it takes less energy to swing something that's lighter than it does if it's really heavy. Mm. The other thing is you get a lot of vibration, I think, through a steel shaft as well. Yeah, so vibration, once we make contact mm -hmm. with that golf ball, we can get vibration coming through the shaft, it goes through the arm, but ultimately ends up in weaker areas of your body. Yeah. Now with graphite, that's massively reduced. Graphite used to be have a bad rep though, didn't it, for being a bit whippy? Yeah, kind of an unstable material, okay. but now they've mastered how to stabilise this. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap this steel shaft out for a, a graphite one and just see what the, the difference it makes. The yeah. So now I've, uh, I've just swapped out the steel shaft for, for a 50 gram uh, graphite shaft. So let me just hit this one. So straight away, it just feels nicer. Straight away. Flipping it. Now, uh, isn't that astonishing? So the first thing that I've noticed is how much straighter my golf ball went, but a whole lot less effort. It well, sounds but, a lot nicer as well. Yeah. Now, interesting, when I swung the steel shaft, I had to look at the number, and my swing speed was 78 miles an hour, and that's just gone up to 83 miles an hour. My distance is, my carry's gone up to 171, and total distance has gone up to 180. And I didn't really feel that I tried to swing the club any faster. It's just the fact that it's lighter, I can move it quicker, a lot less effort. So further, quicker, easier. Yeah, definitely. So light, lighter, a little bit more flexible shafts takes less effort. Mm. Uh, so if we're putting less effort in, we're not putting so much strain on our body. Mm. And uh, consequently, we're hitting uh, quite a different golf shot. Mm. I have to say, I could never go back to steel shafts. Yeah. I just think they're way too heavy for it's me. It's like the ricochet type um, effects it again. Yeah, right? that, that horrible yeah, vibration. Yeah. Uh, so graphite really does cut that down massively. Do you know what I was trying to do? I was trying to find out what a difference that would make over round. So we said that I... It's 50 grams difference. 50 grams difference in weight, yeah. So, That's you know, we're rounding it up, like, you know, to 400 grams, you know, per set. Per, per set of per irons, set yeah. yeah. So I was like, trying to work out what the difference would be over a round of golf, right? Yeah. And although I haven't found any research on that, what I've found is a similar thing, that they tried to work out how much energy um, people in the forces expend when they're carrying a, a backpack, right? Yeah. And there's this thing called the Pandolf question. Right. <laughs> Who knew? Um, and it's a complicated equation to work out how much energy you're carrying while you're carrying a backpack. So if you're a bit bored, you know, at home, and you want to try and work out, <laughs> I mean, really we're not, most people are not carrying, are they? Most senior dogs are not carrying. 
But you know, if you're a bit bored at home, you can Google this pan golf question yeah. and just have a play with it, see what a difference it makes to your golf clubs. Because as you get as you age, your body does actually try and conserve energy. So you know, the light, the clubs, the more energy you're gonna have to play around really. The ones that we've got there is Exios. Um you can we, come and buy his Exios from us, but we're not this is not a pitch for Exio golf clubs, they are amazing. What we're saying is just it's the, it's the comparison between yeah. steel and graphite. Right. Now the other thing that I uh, it's kind of struck me there is how much more I enjoyed my golf swing. Yeah. Uh, I didn't feel I was fighting the golf club, and when I when I go uh, and hit steel shaft a golf club, I feel the club's controlling me. Whereas with the graphite, I feel I'm in control of it, and that is a, a definitely a, in terms of swing mechanics, that is a much better way uh, of of moving the golf club. But if you're fighting your golf club, then I suggest. Uh, you know, Zexios are, are fabulous golf clubs. We we probably all know that. But what I would suggest, if they're if they're out of your budget, go and try some other mm. graphite shafts, uh, because you'll never know unless you try them. Like I say, everywhere on the internet, I found people that are just switching to graphite, and it was so much better for their golf. Um, do you know what? I was just I was reminded then when you were talking about the, the golf swing, and I found some really interesting research in like a, in a spine journal, right? So it said here, to create the necessary sequential timing of contributory movements to the golf swing, you have to, you basically engage in the spinal erectile muscles, abdominal muscles, upper and lower extremity muscles, and shoulder muscles all have to fire in a precise order. Who knew? This game. <laughs> Who would have thought the golf swing would be complicated? <laughs> <laughs> it's That's a fascinating, fascinating game, isn't it? Isn't it? Fascinating yeah. stuff, really, yeah. So what's the challenge, Jack? <laughs> So the challenge today is, as you know, we've said before, a good core strength is really going to support you back as we age, okay? So today's little challenge is we're going to see who's got the strongest core. And he's won twice, so um, I'm going for it today. So basically what we're going to do is lift our legs, a small um, thing off the ground, and then we're going to see who can hold on there the longest, okay? okay. Right, so I'm going to smash this out of the park. You ready? Three, yeah. two, one, go. Okay, so just hold them there. Now if you have got a bad back, you need to be mindful of doing this, okay? So we're just doing a bit of a challenge today, aren't we? Just to see who wins. I think my core strength is not what it was. Win, I'm oh. going to win this one today. Ah! And usually I've been to the gym and I've been to the gym today. My other theory is if I talk too much, it'll just be you off and you'll your legs down anyway. Breathe. Breathe. I think I've forgotten how to breathe. Ah, but you've gone purple! <laughs> Game, I've got heavy feet on. It's a mental <laughs> game today. It's a mental <laughs> game. We're now done. Oh, we're, ah, right, okay. Well done, Joe. I'm going to give you that one. Yeah, a win for the camera. Woohoo! Great job. So straight away, this just feels so heavy compared to what I'm used to. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> what happened there? It felt like it was just it was controlling me, and my hands got way in front. Were you actually doing it? No, you... I wasn't trying to do that. That was no, but... just like an effect. Yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that just feels so out of control compared to uh, to swinging graphite. I'm definitely never going back to to steel shafts. Really yeah. is. Um, we hope you enjoyed our little um, insight into back friendly golf and the reviews of steel versus graphite. Um, as always, um, you know this is taken from our program the three pillars of the proper golfing methodology about not blinding you with more information but talking about transformation. Yeah, absolutely. So you can download that in the link below. Uh, so if you want to know a bit more about the proper golfing methodology, you can have a look at there or check out propergolfing.com uh, and, and just see what we're up to. So really. See what we're up to, yeah. It, it's, uh, everything changes, doesn't it? Everything moves forward every day. Um, as usual, if you like our video, please like it and share it and comment it. We have got a few shout outs to a few people today who have been um, saying some nice stuff on our channel. We've got um, the fella who was actually practicing his plank that's had his back out. Uh, Niall, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Richie as well on YouTube who has said how much Pilates and yoga have helped his, helped his back. So thank you for your shout out guys. Thank if you, you very like much. it, like it. If you want to share it, share it. And uh, also um, if you don't want it, that's up to you as well. So we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.